In this video, we will be demonstrating TechQuipment's refrigeration cycle experiment for learning about vapour compression refrigeration cycle. This is the most commonly used refrigeration method for both refrigerating and heating applications, such as this small fridge. The refrigeration cycle experiment demonstrates the fundamental principles of simple vapour compression refrigeration and the main components that are necessary for establishing a single state refrigeration cycle. It can be used to investigate thermodynamic processes of a vapour compression refrigeration cycle or a heat pump cycle and determine the cycle's efficiencies along with the effect of different factors on the cycle's performance. Using the detailed user guide, charts provided and included versatile data acquisition system and software, students can plot pressure enthalpy charts and learn how to use them to determine the coefficient of performance COP, and superheat and subcooling from the enthalpy changes. Let's take a look around the refrigeration cycle experiment. The experiment consists of four basic components that form a simple refrigeration cycle. The first two basic components here are the condenser and evaporator. Here is the helical coil condenser within the left water tank, which represents the heat sink. This is the helical coil evaporator in the right water tank that represents the heat source. This water pump gently mixes the water between two tanks to help maintain a steady state condition. The third component is the hermetic type compressor that pumps the refrigerant fluid through the pipework, including condenser and evaporator coils. The fourth major component is the thermostatic expansion valve that controls the amount of refrigerant liquid that is injected into the evaporator. These main components are connected by colour-coded refrigerant pipes. The red pipe connecting the condenser with the compressor is high pressure, high temperature refrigerant vapour. The yellow pipe connecting the condenser to the thermostatic expansion valve via the filter dryer and sight glass is high pressure, high temperature refrigerant fluid, as you might see in the automotive industry. The green pipe that comes out of the thermostatic expansion valve into the evaporator is a refrigerant mixture of vapour and liquid that has a low temperature and low pressure. Finally, this blue pipe from the evaporator to the compressor is low pressure, low temperature refrigerant vapour. The experiment has two separate panels. Here is the control panel, which includes displays, control switches and sockets for instrument connection. And on this side is the refrigerant and water system panel, which includes instrumentation specific to the running of the system. Which brings me to the pressure gauges and pressure switch. The system is protected from pressure becoming too high or too low in the circuit by this pressure switch located on the instrument panel that automatically turns off the compressor. The pressure on the low side is shown on the blue gauge. If the pressure becomes too low, the switch will trip and the system will shut down. The red low pressure warning lamp on the control panel will illuminate to indicate that there is a problem with the low pressure part of the system. The pressure on the high side is shown on the red gauge. If the pressure becomes too high, the switch will trip and the system will shut down. Again, the red high pressure warning lamp on the control panel will light up to show that you that there's a problem with the high pressure part of the system. This experiment, as with many of TechQuipment's newest products, includes integrated VDAS, versatile data acquisition system, that can be connected via USB to a suitable computer. Software for this can be downloaded free of charge from TechQuipment's website. Included with the experiment are all the standard user guides with teaching guidelines, theories, and step-by-step -step experiments, plus, printed and digital pressure enthalpy wall charts. The refrigeration cycle is part of the environmental control range that covers the fundamental theories associated with thermodynamics, fluid mechanics and heat transfer for understanding environmental control in the real industrial and consumer world. For more information on TechQuipment's environmental control experiments, click on the link in the description box. Thank you for watching.